China sees itself as being part of a global, cooperative new international order. But it also has its own strong ideas about how that order should be defined. China believes, for instance, very strongly that territorial sovereignty of countries is something that must be preserved. And this is partly due to its own history. Of course, for the best part of a century, from the mid-19th to the mid-20th century, large numbers of Western countries in particular, but also the Japanese, invaded Chinese territory. And that has meant that they are exceptionally keen to make sure that no repetition of that kind of event happens again. And that filters very much into their policy for the early 21st century. Now, the rest of the world, its politicians and commentators, also have very strong opinions of where China should fit into an international order. Should China be listening to them? China wants to be part of the international order, and it listens very carefully to what's happening around the world in terms of international norms, treaties, and so forth. At the same time, China has now become much more able to put its own ideas on the table and demand the Western world pay attention to how it sees issues. If we think of a specific example, China has been at the forefront of pointing out that economic rights are a very important part of um, the way in which it defines what's important for its wider population. And this is something it wants to inject more widely into the international community. For instance, it argues that if people are poor, if countries are underdeveloped, if people don't have enough to eat or running water, they're not necessarily in a position to ask for wider, more individual rights, which Western countries may sometimes value more. And that means that China, while it understands that it's important to be part of international human rights organizations, and in fact, it's taken quite an active role in trying to join many of those uh, those treaties, nonetheless demands that the West does put its, uh, does, does understand China's position and put forward um, uh, a changed model that takes into account very real difficulties that a country like China has in trying to balance an often quite volatile political situation. What's the most important question the world should be asking of China? I think the question that people need to ask of China and at the moment are um, getting something of a response for from, uh, from uh, in terms of issues like the Olympics and so forth, is what is your role going to be in the world in the 21st century? What does the fact that China is now an important player in the world system mean for uh, the world as a whole? Now, I think the Chinese answer to that at the moment is very clear. The idea is that China should play a more active role. The, um, one of the foreign ministry spokesmen a couple of weeks ago actually made a statement that it was a t time for China to be a global state, to be a cooperative state, but to spend more time actually involved in things like um, peacekeeping, taking part in United Nations debates and so forth. And that provides a bit of a contrast perhaps in the last couple of decades where China was more concerned in really growing the domestic economy. Now that China has this very, very rapid, very major economic growth, it's in more of a position to actually say, we have views on the international community. And I think that in particular, China will find itself more and more a spokes. Uh, I don't want to say spokesman, but uh, spokesperson state, you might say, for the world's developing countries. It's going to be clearly called on more and more, I think, by communities, not just in Asia, but also in Africa, and to some extent in Latin America, as articulating the views of societies which don't necessarily agree with what could be seen as the Western-dominated international order. So I think the question to ask is, what is China's position? What are the questions that China wants to ask the international community about how you have an international system which is stable and cooperative, but where there are a multiplicity of views about how the world is organised, which need to coexist. So what is China's question to the international community and the rest of the world? I think China's question to the international community is, how sincere are you? How sincere are you about saying that you welcome China into that international community? At the moment, I think that welcome is genuinely pretty sincere.